Hello friends, welcome to my channel and explore the world of Microsoft Azure. My name is Rajneesh Kaushik and I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer, Consultant and an Enterprise Architect. For more latest videos and blogs, you can always log into my website rajneeshkaushik.com and subscribe to my blog. Please do not forget to subscribe my channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss the latest videos. Do like, share and comment. In the digital era, data is a treasure trove of insights waiting to be discovered every day. But the path to these insights is not easy because it is often tangled into the vines of privacy and collaboration hurdles. Here comes the power of data clean rooms, which provides a beacon of hope for all data enthusiasts. And this provides a secure and collaborative way uh, for the businesses to explore the data together while ensuring the privacy. So let's discover more on data clean room in this session. What is data clean room and why does it matter? Here is the agenda. Uh, we will learn about what is data clean room, why there is a demand of data clean rooms and what is the benefit of using the data clean room. Uh, how does data clean room works? and what are the key considerations and use cases for data clean room. Then we will wrap up with the best practices for set up the data clean room and the final conclusion. So let's get started. What is data clean room? So data clean room is a controlled and secure environment where data analysis and processing can happen and it is happening without the risk of data leakage or misuse. It is designed, this environment is designed in such a way that it can uphold the highest privacy standards without, um, you know, uh, losing the power of analyzing the data. And why this concept is very important? Because first of all, it provides a highly secure environment uh, where data sources from different data sources can be brought together. It has a right access control so that only authorized persons can access it. It has a data privacy standards, which means that data clean room can actually uh, build um, all the data privacy related standards like personally identifiable informations are, um, you know, not exposed to the unauthorized individuals. Uh, various priv privacy preserving techniques like data anonymization or aggregations are employed in this. Uh, then there is a data collaboration uh, controls are there. That means safe data collaboration between different parties like uh, be between the different companies can happen or different partners or customers can happen seamlessly. Parties can share their uh, uh, and analyze their data effectively and collaboratively without risk of exposing the data to each other. It provides a multi-cloud approach which means the data clean room can work in any of the cloud because it is a cloud agnostic approach for data analysis. It can be useful for people who know the specific set of language to work on that language, which means it provides a secure way for users to use SQL, Python, R, Scala or any languages, which can help them to, um, you know, go through that and in, uh, insights, right? So this is very critical for users to use their own set of languages. And it also provides a controlled data access and uses, which means that uh, participant have control who can have access to their data and what can be performed on that data, right? Uh, they can set a certain set of permissions on what kind of data uses it can happen on their data sets uh, based on the data privacy regulations. It also provides you the analysis without the data movement from one part to another part. So that really helps you to avoid the replication of the data and that way your data is not moving out of your tenant but you are still getting the insight from it. So it, it is giving you highest standard of data security and reducing the data management overheads. Then the use cases it supports uh, in the current uh, use cases which is supports like um, different uh, finance industry, healthcare, retail industry, all of them are using the data uh, clean rooms. It, it allows you to uh, support the uh, data compliance and regulations like GDPR, CCPA, uh, these kind of regulations are 
possible to implement with the data clean room why there is so much demand of the data clean room in today's world because um, there is an increasing data privacy regulations in the industry if you might have seen that there there is a data gdpr in europe in uh, us california there is a california consumer privacy act and these regulations actually requires that businesses holds this high data standards of privacy and data clean room helps you to achieve that because they provide a controlled environment to ensure compliance and still enabling the data analysis and collaboration uh, so that is why it is in high demand apart from that there is a growing need for data sharing and collaboration among the businesses so it is no more the way that businesses used to work on their own data there is a need for businesses to share the data among each other especially the companies share the data among their customers and partners sometime and that is where the data clean room works um so business need to collaborate and there are third party vendors who need to get the data so that they can improve their services and products and customer experiences and data clean room helps you to secure the data while sharing the data and then also provide the same collaboration power without exposing the sensitivity of the data then there is a evolving consumer expectations because now consumers are becoming more and more aware and concerned about how their data is being used today so they expect that businesses to protect their privacy while still delivering the same kind of quality of the personalization of the data so data clean room helps you to um, achieve that with this kind of balance between the privacy as well as the collaboration and that is where the you know data clean room comes handy there is a advancement of data analytics and machine learning uh, you might have seen that there are lots of new machine learning models are coming and it is really giving so much opportunity for the data to be explored and derive getting a insights from the data but leveraging these insights uh, after this enhance enhancements in the machine learning is not easy because the businesses need to collaborate and share the data securely and that requires a data clean room there is a fragmented data ecosystem uh, if you see the digital footprint of consumer is scattered among different platforms and services in different cloud providers and business needs to definitely collaborate and uh, aggregate the data coming from different sources so that they can get a comprehensive insight uh, and understanding from the market and in and that comes with the data clean room because it provides a secure way of, uh, of accessing the data and collaborate then there is a monetization of the data many organizations are looking to monetize their data because they have data is a asset data is uh, data holds so much value and companies think about monetizing this data so that they can get value and they can uh, sell that value to their customer customers so that is where the data clean room works because this provides a secure and a secure way to analyze their data but at the same time not um, losing the privacy then there are industry specific use cases which requires the uh, data clean room uh, especially in the financial sector data clean room can definitely help you to um, you know prevent the fraud detection or in the healthcare industry you can use it for patient data for research purpose while still ensuring the data compliance with the healthcare industry standards then uh, data clean room also helps you to gain a competitive advantage in the competitive market security privacy and compliant compliance holds a very big value and it is important and paramount uh, for the industry to analyze and collaborate the data uh, you know and gain an insight so it enables a faster more informed decision making with the innovation so that is why it provide it is very important for industry um, uh, you know partners or vendors to collaborate and get you know get a value from the data clean room and then the last but not least adapt adaptation to the new privacy centric technologies because as the industry is moving towards the new privacy centric technologies and standards the ability to securely collaborate and, and do the perform the data analysis in a privacy compliant environment is becoming more and more crucial and this is really fueling the demand for the data clean rooms benefits of data clean rooms there are lots of benefits of using data clean room 
uh, unrivaled access to the data because data clean room provides you direct access to the large volume and data variety and that will be not possible if you don't use this kind of solution so this provides uh, uh, you know to uh, it, it helps you to gain insights into your customers market and then competitors insight that will not be possible if you don't use data clean room it helps you to ex provide access or grant access to your partners because uh, it, it enables the partners to collaborate with you and get a complete picture of the customers and their market and this helps you to share your data and get their, your partners to get full picture of your customers so that will way it helps you to get a value it provides a automation because data clean room can be used to automate many of the tasks involved in data analysis uh, like data cleansing or feature engineering or model training so this kind of task you can do with the automation this not only saves time but also money and it can also help you to improve the accuracy and efficiency of your data then comes efficiency and productivity because data clean room provides you more efficient and productive way to share your data it can help you to find the insights much faster way and in turn it can help you to save money and data analysis cost then last but not least your protection for existing investment data clean room can help you to protect your existing investment in the data and in your in your intellectual property rights and this helps you to share your data with your partners without giving them access to your proprietary code or proprietary models which you have developed for your company how data clean room works it's uh, let's understand that so if you see this diagram in the left side data owner is there and data owner actually provides a data set and that uh, data owner connects and configure the data set so that this data set can be shared with the uh, data clean room collaborators and there is a workflow management which means that data as soon as the data is available the workflow is triggered and that workflow helps you to share the data and if this workflow also have some approvals the different set of templates for using the data sets and there is a specific set of queries which is based on a specific set of use cases so based on that use case queries the data is shared and there is there are certain set of roles and responsibilities assigned to an individual who can share the data and what data it can share so that workflow management is already inbuilt into it so when the data comes and it is shared it is shared in the um, if you see this Venn diagram there is a privacy preserved result set so the result set which is required by the uh, collaborators to see that is a set of data which can be shared that means based on the need basis if the data need to be shared that data will be only shared which is requires a privacy which the data which does not require a privacy or which is not personally identifiable data can only be shared so that is where the data which is intersecting between the two Venn diagrams uh, intersection that is the data which is shared and now the collaborator in the right side connects to it and it filters and maps that, that data um, based on the current uh, consent management and then it starts using that data or explore the data in their machine learning data model or, or connecting into or, or you know running some machine learning insights into it so it provides you uh, a privacy based uh, result set it provides you interoperability with no data movement be because the data remains exactly the same way it provides you data science future proof because data science uh, machine learning models are running right and it provides enterprise grade privacy um, or the standard privacy uh, standards which is there in the industry and it does not um, you know creates issue with your uh, user experience and multiple parties can collaborate together now let's understand and learn the key consideration while choosing the data clean room solution so first and foremost data clean room solution should provide a interoperability without moving the data it should be uh, you know it should provide ability for the data to be connected you can uh, clean room should be able to connect the data model and code from different cloud platform without actually moving the data 
this should reduce the latency and risk of data leakage data clean room should be data science and future proof which means that it should be able to support a variety of data science uh, task like uh, for example training the machine learning models or combination of first second or third party data it should also be uh, able to run the containerized code into it like sql python r or spark or scala code and then it should also be able to help you to um, run the data science tools and libraries into it it should provide a enterprise grade privacy and governance clean room should provide all the secure environment for data collaboration and which it should in turn it allows the data owners to control how their data is used and it should support a privacy preserving data sharing techniques then your uh, good uh, data clean room solution should provide a best user experience for any of the use case because it should be very easy for the users to use different level of technical expertise like not just advanced level or uh, basic level users it should also provide a pre written analytics for some common use cases and it should allow the data science uh, scientist to develop the advanced analytics and integration into it so this is how the user experience matters a lot then it also should provide a multi party collaboration which means that you can it should support the templatized analytics and which should allow you to collaborate with data and service provider across the industry with multiple data clean room solutions it should also support a natural language processing capability or a framework where you know it becomes very easy for business users to find the queries which they really are looking for and customize those queries as and when it is needed okay so now let's dwell deeper into some of the critical use cases which um, data clean room provides so there are consumer package um, and retailing industry cpg and retail cpg and retail they can use this data clean room to securely combine their data to analyze the impact of promotional campaign on sales right so this way companies can bring its advertisement data and retail chain data and point of sale data transaction uh, data and this way they can analyze this and combine the data and and create a meaningful insight so that this can help them to um, increase their sales um, from the campaign and without exposing the sensitive data then in the media and advertisement industry they can do the targeted advertising because this can help them to stream um, um, you know in as an advertising agency they can um, uh, they can get the streaming data and they can collaborate with the data clean room to analyze viewers information data and performance to create more targeted advertisement campaigns so this way they can um, you know create the advertisement which resonate better with their audience segment without sharing the actual viewers data so that is very important in the financial industry this can be used for fraud detection because multiple banks can use the data clean room to collaboratively develop a improved fraud detection model and where they can share their transaction data patterns where they can uh, they can um, you know relate the fraudulent activities without exposing the privacy of their data um, so this way they can collectively fight against the fraud detection menace healthcare industry they can do the research and development for the drug development pharmacy industries and companies can um, you know securely collaborate on clinical trial data for the drug development and they can analyze the patient response to the new drugs while ensuring the privacy and uh, for the uh, patient data then similarly for the technology and telecommunication companies and they can provide the clean room to analyze the performance of the new app on a different networks they can understand how network performance affects the app uses without sharing the uh, sensitive information uh, automotive industry can use the vehicle performance analysis where they can help you to um, you know share the data from the automotive industries and software companies and then they can uh, improve the new automation driving software with this way they can analyze the data um, which is uh, coming from the different driving con conditions without exposing the proprietary or sensitive data in the education industry you can use it for the learning outcome 
in the education industry education institutes and ad tech companies can use data clean room to analyze the effectiveness of the online learning platform to improve the learning outcomes and they can analyze this uh, student engagement they can analyze the performance data without exposing the individual student information and similarly the government and public sector they can also use the data clean room to uh, finalize or understand the policy impact uh, because government agencies can use the data clean room to securely collaborate and independent researchers so that they can analyze the impact of new policy on the public health or economic conditions so without exposing the data sensitive data and ensuring the privacy of the data so implementing a data clean room requires a well thought approach um, because it should help you to uh, enable the privacy compliance and data analysis and collaboration so there are some best practices you need to follow so let's discuss those best practices first of all when you implement this data clean room solution you should have a clearly defined objectives you you know what you aim to achieve with the data clean room whether it is securing the data sharing collaborative analysis or compliance with data privacy regulations all these should have a clear objective and this will help you to actually set up this kind of solution then um best practice uh, another best practice is ensuring legal and regulatory compliance so if you are setting up a data clean room you should always you know understand the data privacy laws where you are implementing it like gdpr or ccpa then uh, another best practice is implementing robust access control because you need to implement a fine grained access control so that only authorized individuals can access the data and only for the approved purpose only and during that time when they really need it then maintaining data anonymization and encryption there has to be a proper approach for uh, employing the data anonymization anonymization and protecting the sensitive data so that data is always encrypted both in transit and in rest there should be a data governance policies in place so that you can enforce this data governance policy to manage the data quality consistency and uses within the data clean room uh apart from that you should also have a ma maintain the data audit trails because that helps you to keep the detailed audit trail and access for the analysis performed on your data so that you can ensure the transparency and accountability for the data being accessed then there is there should be a educate and train users which means that you should educate and train all the users on these policies procedures and best practices so that they can in understand this policies and then they can also effectively under uh, use it um, while ensuring the compliance then there is a best practice for utilizing the secure data sharing technologies which means that you leverage the secure data sharing technologies that allows data analysis without the movement of the data or replicating the data thus reducing the risk of losing the privacy of the data then Uh, another best practice is that supporting the multi cloud and multi language environment that means your data clean room should support all the cloud platform providers and all the programming languages which is uh, provide there so that it provides a flexibility and it can meet the diverse needs of the individual who are using your solution it should also implement monitoring and alerting so that you can detect and respond to any unauthorized event and suspicious activities it should also engage with experts so because you know you whenever you implement this kind of solution you should always engage with the experts and why because experts understand the data privacy security and legal ex uh, expertise so that they can help you to set up the data clean room in a robust and compliant way you know and you can meet all the industry standard requirements and the another best practice is that to regularly review and update the policies so that you can continuously review and update these policies which uh, which includes the access control and other configurations to adapt the changing needs of legal regulatory and business environment uh then another best practice is to ensure the scalability and flexibility because your design should in make sure that your solution data clean room solution is scalable it is flexible to accommodate the growing business needs uh, of not just the privacy but also volume and as as far as the new data sources are added it should be able to scale 
So this is very important because otherwise your data clean room solution will not work after certain time. It should also have uh, maintained the open communication with the stakeholder. So your data clean room solution, when you design this kind of solution, you should keep the communication open with all the stakeholders, including your internal teams and partners and regulators, so that there is an alignment, uh, right? And you can address any concerns proactively before you implement this kind of solution in the corporate enterprise wide. Then you should evaluate and iterate this kind of solution. That means you should evaluate this solution as and when the time uh, for, ev for evaluation comes and then you can change the uh, guidance, you can change the um, direction and this way you can make sure that you are meeting the objective of the solution. So by adhering to these best practices, uh, organizations can um, create a secure, effective and compliant data clean room environment and that helps you to enable and leverage their data assets while protecting the uh, data privacy and security. So the, here is a conclusion for the session that Data Clean Room provides a secure, controlled and private environment for data collaboration. But aligning with the organization needs and compliance requirement is very, very important and paramount for driving the data-driven innovation in your enterprise and at the same time ensuring the data privacy. Thanks for watching and do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon.